Well, it's finally here. Our Waikiki Beach and Kauai Beach Park video. Thanks for coming in and watching another video with us. And as always, don't forget to give us a like and leave us a comment. We always answer those. If you'd like to repost our videos, feel free and subscribe. Go ahead and turn on those notifications too so you get updates when we post our next videos. Waikiki Beach is one of the most iconic and well-known beaches on the planet. It's a two mile stretch of white sand and calm turquoise blue ocean and is located on the south side of Oahu. The Waikiki area was once the playground for Hawaiian royalty. They enjoyed surfing on longboards in the 1800s here. From Hilton Hawaiian Village on the west side to Kapiolani Park in the east, Waikiki is definitely among the most popular travel destinations on the globe. Waikiki means spouting waters in Hawaiian, acknowledging the rivers and springs that once flowed in the area. It was mostly swampland and a lot larger than it is today, encompassing the neighboring valleys of Manoa and Palaolo. In this video, we'll mainly explore the Kohio Beach Park area. In some of our videos yet to come, we will explore the Gray's Beach area, as well as the Fort DeRussi Beach Park, and even the Duke Kamanahoku Beach area. As I said before, Thanks for coming in and watching this video with us. We hope you enjoy our walk down Waikiki Beach and stay tuned to the end for, well, kind of an interesting story of what happened to us on our last day there. We went down to the Waikiki Beach and had an adventure that really will last a lifetime. So, aloha and mahalo. See you in the next video. So that's like a couple of different trees, huh? That made one big tree. I guess if you're gonna be homeless, Hawaii is the place to be homeless. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sleep at the beach all day. I mean, there's a there's a bathtub right there, God's bathtub. Even though getting out of the ocean, you do not feel clean. It's not it's not clean water. Get a picture of this guy right here. This is the the Tao Tahana Moku.
get up there. Do you remember how to get back? Beach Bistro? Huh? This is the prettiest uh, police station in the world. It's the most beautiful police station in the world, isn't it? To the left here, you can kind of see Surfboard Alley, where they uh, store a lot of surfboards. On our third day there, someone set a large fire down Surfboard Alley. Ruined a lot of surfboards, caused a lot of smoke. Uh, apparently, it's getting to be a regular thing. I hope they find who did it and bring them to justice, because it did cause a lot of damage and I'm sure a lot of people lost their surfboards. I'll start out our story of what happened to us on our last day in Hawaii right here. We had to be out of our hotel by 11 o'clock and our plane didn't leave till nine at night. So we decided we'd visit the Honolulu Zoo before we left. We've already posted a video about our, our trip to the Honolulu Zoo. So if you wanna check that out, go check it out on our previously posted videos. During our stay in Hawaii, we had rented a car. And along with renting a car comes some added cost as well as some added convenience. One of those costs was parking. Everywhere we went, it cost to park, even our hotel. They charged us $40 a day just to park at the hotel. We were fairly lucky in most places that we went and were able to find parking. I think that's mainly because we went later on in the season in mid to late October. If you go during the summer months, we've heard a lot of people complain about issues with parking all over the island. This brings me back to our story and the issues with parking. So stay tuned till the end and see what happened to us on Waikiki Beach. Go down and look at this the statue and then we'll go out to the beach. It looks like you parted too hard. You're not supposed to touch it. It's disrespectful. Can you take your picture in front of it? Look, 
Moran or Oh, we can go over there. Looks like there's a lot more open area over there. So. Put him in the bag there. Oh, in flower. Look at all the sunny beaches. Thanks for 
I got my belly buttons in. This the sand feels better here. Yeah. We should go right there. Is that sand? Okay, this is the sand pit. See how big the waves will be if they... the beach at Waikiki. Lots of sunny beaches here. Like right, sunset <laughs> yeah, this one is super sandy. If you could combine those two beaches, the way I'd that. rather have the best smell with you know, rocks. Yeah, yes, me too. I think if the smell isn't so awful, then you can. It just smells like a little uh, fish market. And maybe they stay on the rocks, don't they? Algae crossing. Picks you up and then you can't touch the ground. What is that, a sharp one? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, I think the I think the waves washed the sand away right there. I was gonna ask the guy for help. Look! You know I had to say my flower because you know where? You know where I'm at. Uh, I'm Best flowers. <sighs> Ah, <laughs> 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 
Oh, you're recording? That's in a picture. Yeah. I'm recording on the video. Oh. Well, we can cut pictures out of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't wait to see what they do. Now, back to our story with parking. Like I said, we had rented a Jeep for our stay in Hawaii. And it just so happened that on our last day, we decided after the zoo, we'd walk down Waikiki Beach. It was getting later on in the day. It was really beautiful. The weather was perfect. Uh, the sun was shining and we decided to grab a bite to eat from ABC and sit in the park while we waited for our flight. We had parked in what we thought was a safe place. Unbeknownst to us, it wasn't. And it was an employee parking area. Now the sign was placed a few cars back and we ended up getting towed. Uh, the towing situation there in Waikiki is very, how do you say, um, corrupt. With the police and the tow companies in cahoots to defraud unsuspecting tourists of money. The signage is very confusing and often misleading so you have to be extra careful when parking in Waikiki Beach. Also, if you're parked at one of the lesser resorts off the strip, uh, some people have told us that you have to move from one side of the street to the other at certain times. And if you don't, you could be towed. And it just, it's, there's a lot of headaches associated with parking. So we were sitting in this beautiful park at Waikiki on a bench eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich from ABC when all of a sudden JAR towing drives by with our Jeep towed behind it. I had air tags in some of our luggage and so my phone did alert me that our vehicle had moved but I thought it was just an anomaly and one of those uh, false alarms. Our plane left in less than three hours we didn't have any of our luggage. Thousands of dollars in camera equipment was also in the vehicle. And we didn't even know who had towed us. So what did I do? Dial 911. They directed us to the towing company that had towed our vehicle. But unfortunately, we had called too early. And the tow truck hadn't even made it back to the to the impound yard. So they didn't even know what we were talking about. We had a pretty good idea of where the car was headed, and that was Sand Island. Sand Island is kind of a warehouse district at, down there in, in Honolulu. It's a man-made island that they've moved all of their shipping and, and storage out to. So we grabbed an Uber and headed that way. $34 later, we ended up at the JAR Towing Yard. They were extremely helpful. They let us get into the car and look for the rental agreement. Unfortunately, on our second or third day there, when the valet had brought the car around, he opened the door and a lot of papers flew out. And among those was the rental agreement. Unfortunately, they wouldn't give us the Jeep without proof that we had rented it. So we had no choice but to call an Uber and get our bags from the Jeep. Fortunately for us, National had forgot to register the vehicle. So there was an additional ticket on top of the parking ticket for an unregistered vehicle. Their remedy for the situation? Leave the car at the towing yard and catch our flight. So another Uber was called. And fortunately for us, Sand Island is located right next to the airport. So it was only about a $12 Uber over to the airport. So after two and a half hours of headaches, Uber rides, phone calls, and just plain frustration, we were at the airport. Finally, we made our way to National Rail Car. We had to explain the whole situation to them. And then after even more phone calls, 
we finally got a solution and they helped us out. They were able to actually cover the charges for us and cover the Uber. So I want to thank them for really making what could have been a horrible situation much better and making our trip one to remember. Thanks for staying to the end and listening to our story. And as a reward, I'll give you a hint about our next video. It's all about what I think is the most beautiful beach in the world and probably one of Hawaii's best kept secrets. So once again, aloha and we'll see you in the next video.